Hello, welcome to a Let's Learn video with Sherry G. We're going to be inserting a Trimble 3D object into Smart Notebook Lesson. I'm going to show you how to search for them, download them, and insert them. Over on the side in the Gallery or Picture Frame tab, you're going to click Trimble 3D Warehouse, and then you can browse the 3D Warehouse or the Smart Exchange, both very similar. The Trimble 3D Warehouse has lots of buildings and um, cars and traditional architectural type things. Um, let's look, search for something. You just type what you want. Let's look for a Canada Parliament. See if that pops up, and there is. There's 44 results. You can see so many on a page at a time. You can sort. Uh, let's sort by popularity. This one seems to be pretty popular, looks cool. So we click on download. So I clicked on the download link and it just started downloading for me and I wanted to make sure that I got the 2014 model that was compatible with Smart Notebook. So I actually clicked on the picture of the page to bring it up here because this bigger download button will let you choose a SketchUp 2015 model, 2014, 13, etc. And SketchUp 2014 is what our version of Smart Notebook likes. So you would click on the SketchUp 2014 model to download that. So I'll cancel this first one and it says do I want to open or save it? I want to save it. I'm not sure where I want to save it so I click save as so that I can choose. I'll put it on the desktop and instead of number one I think I'll call it Parliament and I will just save that. Once it's saved, we're good, it's on our computer, we can actually get out of the 3D warehouse. All you have to do once you've searched and downloaded is insert it. On the Smart Notebook menu, you go File, Insert. What are we going to insert? A 3D object. Click 3D object and it will let you search your computer, find the one you want, and you click Open, and in they pop. This is the particular model. We can make it bigger if we want to, and then all 3D objects have more handles than normal, so this one is going to turn it on its side and this one is going to flip it up and down so we can see what it looks like and then this middle one lets you turn it and flip it on its axis so that you can really see around what it looks like. Okay, that is inserting a object from Trimble 3D and you'll notice that there were lots of architecture buildings, cars, boxes, things like that. The Smart Exchange has the same idea where you search and download. Okay, so the ones that say 3D content on them um, are downloads already. Here's a solid liquid gas one. These are more uh, educational, so all you have to do is download that. It again will be a same type of file. We're going to save it as so we know where that location is. I'll throw it on my desktop for a moment and it saves the little gallery item. Okay, so now all I have to do is get out of the 3D warehouse and I can insert it again. With the content that we got from Smart, we noticed that it's called a gallery item. So we're not inserting a 3D object like we did from Trimdle. We're inserting a gallery item. This solid liquid and gas gallery item is on my desktop and when I insert that in it comes with the same handles so that you can move it up and down and see what's going on there. And that's uh, inserting an object from the Smart Exchange and from the Trimble 3D Warehouse.